welcome back to my channel and for a slightly different video today. Uh, we are going away in a couple of weeks. We're going to go for a little cheeky weekend away in Amsterdam. And when I went to Nuremberg in November or December, you guys were asking me what makeup I bought, what products I packed. So I thought I would show you in advance and take you along on a little journey inside my head. So apologies for that. But basically, yeah, I'm really excited. We've been to Amsterdam a number of times, but every time we go, we stay in a different hotel. We try to do something a little bit different. We just kind of like being in the city and just wandering around and be somewhere that's not London. So without further ado, guys, let's get into my makeup bag. So when I go away, my makeup doesn't change. My foundation doesn't change. I still will always, always use the um, Christian Dior Forever Foundation in the matte finish. I don't wanna take my big glass bottle with me. So I, when I went to Selfridges the last time, the lovely lady in there gave me two samples of it. I am actually meeting my friend to go to Selfridges before we go, so I'm gonna try and nab a couple more. But this is shade 3N, this is the shade 2N. I might have to mix them together because the shades, I'm a little bit in between both of them now, so I'm definitely gonna have to mix these together. But the idea is the same. And then I am going to be using my, bear with, this is my go-to concealer. It is the Lasting uh, Perfection Concealer by Collection. Now, again, you know, these two things I just use all the time. I have not changed this up in millions of years. If I broke, don't fix it. That's what I'm gonna be taking. The setting powder I'm taking, I'm not taking my Laura Mercier, because at the moment I've got the anniversary one. And I don't know if you guys bought that, the anniversary version of the um, uh, translucent loose powder, but it is literally like this. It's gigantic. I mean, the value was insane, but for practicality of taking it away, it is just not there. So I did buy the Lasting Perfection Banana Setting Powder, the loose powder. I'll put a picture of it here. I have got one, but it's in the loft with my travel stuff, which is not much use to you guys. So that's what I'm gonna be using. And it is just basically a really basic setting powder with the yellow undertone to it, which suits my skin perfectly. If you haven't got the yellow undertone, just pick up the translucent one. It works well. I like that one too, but I find that when I use that translucent one, I need more bronzer, so it kind of is a bit silly. So I just don't bother with that. But um, that is what I'm gonna be using as a base for my makeup on holiday. My bronzing powder is still gonna be the same. It's still gonna be Natural by Bobbi Brown. That hasn't changed. I was hoping to bring a different one with me. I was umming and ahhing about taking the Hourglass Sculpture Palette. I might still do that, but the bronzer in that one for me has really, really kind of hit pan. And I'm not sure if it will last four days. We're there for three nights, four days. So I'm not sure. So I might just take my old faithful and just hope it doesn't get smashed because that's the only problem. This is why with my kind of travel kit, I take things that if something happens, it's not the end of the world. As far as eyeshadow goes, so when we're in Amsterdam, we're going to be going around in the daytime, just walking about, going to shops and museums and lunches and stuff like that. So I'm going to be wearing quite casual clothes and a casual look. But then in the evenings, I'm gonna be wearing a bodysuit and some heels and changing my look up a little bit. So I need eyeshadow that's gonna go from day to night quite easily. And what I'm wearing right now is what I'm gonna show you and it's the Natasha Denona Mini Star Palette. This is a great palette. So during the day, all I'm gonna do is transition shade and crease that's it. I'm just going to use these two um, with my primer underneath. And then in the evening, I can pop on one of these like glamour shades. So either the green or the gold is probably my favourite one or the little sort of pinky nude in the middle there. At the moment, today's look is transition, crease and centre eyelid. So that's what I'm doing today. 
And as a base, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in Golden Bronze. So that's what I'm using as the base to everything to stick to. These are amazing because as you know, day to day, I use the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze, but it's a pot, it's quite chunky. This is just a pen. This is just dead easy to throw in your makeup bag. It takes up no room, it's really light. And you just brush it onto the eye, use your finger to blend it out. Happy days. So these two together are going to be brilliant for a long weekend away. Eyeliner and mascara, a bit of a no-brainer for me. Eyeliner, I've used my Obsidian by Hourglass. It's just a black liner, but I'm sure I've showed this a thousand times before. I'm not going to twist it up because once you twist it up, you can't twist it back down. But basically, look how skinny that little nib is and I will insert some b-roll of me applying it but I basically just apply it really really messily to my eyelid I try to get it as close to the lash line as possible and then I use a little brush just to blend it out and it gives you a really nice messy eye look it gives you the smudginess and the bit of depth that you want to the eye without a really thick line it's amazing and it's really understated and for you know for day to day going out in the daytime i don't want a really heavy eye look even in the evening i would just rather look a bit kind of undone because we're on holiday after all and then i'm just picking up the smallest mascara that i've got on the go right now which is the bobby brown smoky eye mascara it's really good. It's got a nice little brush to it. The brush is full size, so you don't have to be mucking around with it. It's really good. It gives me those um, nice long lashes. I don't know why it's called Smoky Eye. I don't get it, but it's, it's a nice mascara. It's black. It does what it says on the tin. So those two with the Natasha Denona are going to be really, really good for my little weekend away. Now, as far as lips go, I do take a few options because... You know, it, a lipstick can change up your look quite drastically. So for the daytime, I'm going to be using the Dior Lip Glows. I have got the shades Raspberry and Dior 8. So a bright pink and a red. So the Raspberry is a really kind of your lips but better colour. Although in the packaging, it does look a little bit wild. Once you get it onto the lip, it is not. It's really translucent. It enhances the colour of your natural lip, gives you a little bit of a sheen, it's really pretty and it's the same with the red. The red does look really punchy and really intense but honestly it is not. I bought this when we went to Amsterdam the last time, I bought this at the airport and it was in I want to say May or June and honestly look how much I've used in that time. Like, I've never gotten through a lipstick that quickly. This is fully twisted up. So I might actually have to pick up another one when I go because it's my go-to. When I don't want a full-on red lip, it just gives me a little bit of a shine. It gives a little bit of depth of colour, but nothing crazy. And then for evenings, when I'm going to be eating and drinking on a bit more staying power, I'm taking my, my favourite matte lipstick, which is Velvet Teddy by MAC. I mean, if you don't know what this looks like, I'm wearing it right now. It is the most gorgeous, neutral, pinky brown, I want to say. And it just really goes with the colour palette that I've got going on with these eyes. It just works really nicely together. That's more for the daytime. And then in the evening, if I fancy something a bit more dramatic, if we go somewhere really nice, and I think this has been discontinued, so I'm really sorry, but it, this still counts. If you want a good red lip, you go to Chanel. End of story. It's expensive. This was like £35, I think. But do you know what? You cannot put a price on a good red lip. This is number 127. And this was their Christmas red in like 2021, I think. So it's magnetic. So you push the right end. You push that end. And it pops out. And it twists up. And I thank God I've still got loads of this left. But this is is the most perfect red lip. It's a great kind of Christmas red, but it goes really well with anything that you're wearing that's kind of like a neutral eye or no eye shadow at all. But anything sort of brown or bronzy, that red lip will bring you to life. Do you know what? I'm just gonna throw it on top of this. Why not? 
It's so good, I don't even need a mirror really, using the viewfinder, but. There you go. Boom, amplified immediately. Makes your teeth look really white. It's just the one, I love it. And yeah, this would be more of like a, a nice restaurant evening look. So that's what we're gonna go with. And as you can see, it works really, really well with the eyeshadow. And then for cheeks and highlight, I am bringing my Pat McGrath Divine Blush Trio in Amber Allure. So this is the one I showed you, I think in my January favorite. This is amazing. So you've got a Love Struck, Paradise Venus and Venus Nectar, I believe, but yes, this is amazing and for this current look that i have going on i used this middle shade but uh, i wouldn't use the pink with this color story it just wouldn't work because it's much more bronzy so i'm going to use the bronze um blush and then the highlight is what we have on today as well which is just glorious as you can see we very much hit pan on that now which is very very sad but yeah i love it i was trying to find Another kit that I could bring that is more kind of travel friendly. Basically, if this broke, I would be devastated. But all of my hourglass ones now, they're either too empty or they haven't got the things, the sort of colour shades that I need in them. So this was really the only one that worked with what I'm bringing the rest of the stuff. So I'll just have to be really, really careful with my bag. Um, now let's move on to hair care. I'm not gonna bother going into skincare because basically I just decant everything that I need into little pots. So I'll be taking my marine cream with me. I'll be taking my Elemis eye cream, the full size, because I've got the tube again. Um, I'm not gonna bother with toner. I think I'll just bring face wipes and just use those to tone in the morning and in the evening. And I'm not gonna bring a serum or a face oil because they're just way too mucky to travel with so i'm going to go quite basic when it comes to skincare but i am going to bring these little hair care bits because we are going for three nights we're staying in a spa hotel so i'm going to be swimming and with my hair i cannot have it discolored so i'm going to be taking these little kerastas samples that i got i bought a kit on um look fantastic and these were free so this is the resistance shampoo and resistance conditioner it says strengthening mask but i'm gonna use it as a conditioner and it's basically to strengthen your hair i mean i doubt anything major is going to happen with these two little sizes but you know they're cute little sizes that'll be enough easily for a couple of washes and i can use that for my following long weekend whenever we go away and this is a really nice little size for a conditioner. Um, I need to look at how to use it because if it is a mask, I don't have to leave it on for like 10 minutes or whatever. But yeah, these look really good. So I'm going to use these. Never used them before. And then I am going to take my Dyson Corral straighteners. Now, these are new. I bought these for myself for Christmas. But I absolutely love them. I straightened my hair with them today. And as I'm sure you can agree, it looks fabulous. And what, I'm, what I would do on holiday is I would just wash my hair, dry it with the hair dryer in the hotel, which let's face it, they're usually awful. And then just go over my hair with this. Now with this, it is cordless. So I don't need to, um, I need to make sure it's fully charged, but I don't need to take a cord with me. And it has a flight safe mode. So I can twist it to flight safe mode so that it can be put into the, cabin with me so i'm really really happy with that i love those and that's it so for clothes as i said i'm just going to be wearing kind of what i'm wearing today for the daytime i'm going to wear some trainers and then pack a pair of heels and then just vamp it up in the evening with a bit of a bodysuit um perfume and handbag that was what i was going to show you so i i always am umming and ahhing what perfume to take but I have a little handbag size of one, which I'm so excited about. And I'll show you my bag that I take with me everywhere when I travel. This bag is my dream bag when it comes to travel. This is my Gucci Soho Disco bag. 
it's a crossbody, it's a shoulder bag, it does everything. It's really glamorous if you want to go out for nighttime. It's got the beautiful gold hardware, it's Gucci, so it's, you know, nice. But if you're just walking around the city in the daytime, it holds everything that you could possibly want. It is not a small bag. For a small bag, it's not a small bag. Let me show you the inside there. It's quite messy. So I've already got all my sunglasses and everything ready because I am ready for some sun. It's quite nice today, actually. And I'm going to be taking my Ray-Bans. These are the Wayfarers, the original 1980s Wayfarers. And I had them made into prescription sunglasses. So I don't need to wear contact lenses with them. They fit my prescription beautifully. I can actually see out the window and I just love them and I think they're really nice and casual they're really good for a city break they look good with your hair up or down there you go there's the hair up situation they're quite glam but they're quite casual as well and they're just like the real classic Ray-Ban um design I just love them and then for perfume I am bringing my 15 mil fm utique so the utique range is the more high-end versions of the perfumes that we sell at fm this is a five out of five match for how fetty by pen halligans oh my god it's so good i've got quite a bit left i'm not going to spray it now because i don't want to waste it it's so good but it is an exact match. I went to Penhaligans and I tried Halfetti and there is no difference whatsoever. This, the Utique range, like I say, is the highest end that we do at FM and it's £85 a bottle, I believe this one is. This, not this size, that's for the 100 mil. This one was like £25. I really wanted the smaller size anyway because for situations like this, I use this one for going out to dinner. I don't wear it day to day. I keep it in my little bag like this because I usually take this out for dinner and stuff. So it's a great little perfume to have in there. While we're doing this, I'll show you what's in the bag as well. Just why not? Uh, this is a little carrier bag inside a bag. So in case you buy something and you don't want to spend the money on a carrier bag. And my mum got me this when she went to, I think it was when she went to Portsmouth. And it's a... Um, uh, I can't remember what they're called now, but the the boat people, the, oh my goodness, what Coast Guard people, it's like the Coast Guard fund or something, so she got me that. Um, this is another thing she got me, which is a great little gift actually, it's a little mirror that you keep in your handbag, and it's got a, mic, like a, what do you call it, like a really close up bit, and like a further away bit, but it's just really good to uh, have on the go. Scrunchy because you never know when you're going to get some wild weather. Tissues because when it's cold, I don't know about you guys the same, my nose and my eyes run like a crazy person. This is my little key card holder. I got this from Accessorize. It was like six pounds in their sale and it's brilliant for holding some coins. You can put some notes and some cards there. I take this on holiday with me all the time because I don't take my entire wallet because I just don't need it. Fresh breath spray, because you never know. Polos, same reason. And a little hand sanitizer, because I'm sure we all still carry these everywhere, do we not? Some plasters and some glasses wipes, because you never know if you might have an accident and need to clean your glasses. Also, this this was made, my cousin had this, these made for her wedding. I'm sure, I don't know if you can see. It's got my name on it. And you basically tie this around the bottom of a glass um, so you know that it's your drink. I take this everywhere. I went to my cousin's 18th last week and I had this bag on me and I used this to put around the bottom of my glass. And everybody laughs at me, but you know what? I've never lost a glass in my life and I've never picked up someone else's drink. And you don't want to be drinking someone else's drink or not know which drink is yours. Also, I have a little perfume in here. Ooh. Givenchy, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Le Ditin? Le Ditin? I don't know. Didn't know there's anything in there, so that's quite handy. I've just dropped everything. Great. But that's basically what I keep in that little bag, sort of, day to day, week to week. 
And then when we go away, I will just take out a couple of bits and um, put some other bits in. I'll keep my passport in there. And when we go out for the day, I'll have some money and just some kind of, you know, it's a great little bag just to wander around with. So that is basically my weekend away in a nutshell. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit different, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure if you, you know, if, you, if it's something you'll be interested in going forward, but I thought it'd be quite fun. And like I said, when I went to Nuremberg, I was shocked at how many of you wanted to know what makeup I took with me. And because I was away and I was busy and we were seeing friends and stuff, I didn't have time to film anything there. But this time it's a slightly more chilled out weekend away. So I might do a little bit of filming while we're there. Who knows? And nail polish, before we wrap up completely, when I go away, I always try to do like a neutral nail polish. This is Simply Radishing by OPI. I might even wear this when we go. I'm not going anywhere just, just yet, but this colour, it's just great for everything or just a straight up black or a nice bright red because that seems to work with every outfit, everything you could possibly put on. But uh, in case of chipping or anything, I might just stick to a nude. So something like this would be great for that weekend away. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next week for a brand new video. Take care. Have a great week.